Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss Carey's model analysis. Carey's model analysis is done on the mandibular arch and it has two components. First component is the arch length. The arch length is measured anterior to the first permanent molars by using soft brass wire which is placed on the mesial surface of the first permanent molar and then passed against the cusp tips of the premolars on the cusp tip of the canines and on the incisal surface and then passing in the same manner on the opposite side up to the mesial surface of the first permanent molar. By, by doing this we will get the arch length that is called as X. Now if the incisors are placed in normal position we will pass the wire in the same manner I discussed previously that is through the incisal edges. In the cases where the incisors are present in the proclined position in that case the wire has to be passed through the cingulum and if the incisors are present in the retroclined manner in that case we have to pass the wire through the labial surface of this incisors. The motto is to get the actual arch length. The second component of this analysis is to get the tooth material. This tooth material that is the material mesial to the first permanent molars is measured using the mesiodistal length of all the teeth. So here you can see the mesiodistal length of or mesiodistal width of all the teeth are pointed as A, B, C up to J. And the tooth material or the measured tooth material mesial to the first permanent molar can be gained by summing them up together that is from A to J all together. Let's say that value is Y. Now for doing this analysis we have the value Y that is measured tooth material and we have the value X that is arch length. The difference between both of them will tell us whether there is discrepancy and if it is how much. If the value is 0 that will show that there is no discrepancy. If the value is from 0 to 2.5 it will show minor discrepancy and it will suggest that there is requirement of the correction of this discrepancy and this correction can be done with help of the proximal stripping. If this value is from 2.5 to 5 millimeter, in that case there is moderate discrepancy and it can be corrected using extraction of the second premolars. And if this value is more than 5 millimeter, it has to be corrected by the extraction of first premolars. The same analysis if it is done on the maxillary arch, it will be called as arch perimeter analysis. So that's how the Carey's analysis helps us in determining the extent of the arch length to tooth material discrepancy and helps us in determining what treatment has to be done next. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.